Hey everyone, this is Jared Trotter with Go Engineer. In this video, I'm going to show you a good method for updating your CAD geometry in Composer. The principal idea here is to show you how to leverage your SOLIDWORKS design work and integrate it into your Composer workflow. We'll start with the SOLIDWORKS assembly. We're going to export this as a Composer document, so let's check our export settings first. We'll click on Options, Export, and then select SMG from the dropdown. We'll toggle the BOM export option and merge file into one actor per part, which ensures that we get parts into Composer rather than surfaces and multi-body parts. You only need to modify these settings once, then they'll be the same each time you export an SMG file. Now that that's done, we'll create a bill of materials for export. If you use bill of materials extensively in your Composer documents, and need them to update with your SOLIDWORKS models, then it's best to use the BOM inside of SOLIDWORKS and just push that to Composer. The bill of materials inside of Composer is best used if you do not plan on dynamically updating these CAD files. Also, be aware that SOLIDWORKS is only going to export the first bill of, mater bill of materials, so I would recommend reserving this method of creating a BOM exclusively for your Composer document. If you need another BOM, created in the drawing of your part or assembly, which is the standard way. Now to export this, go to File, Save As, and we'll specify this as a Composer file. This is going to be the master SMG file. What I mean by that is you don't want to make any modifications to this file in Composer. We'll have a working version for that purpose. Now we'll open this file that we just created. Again. This SMG file reflects the assembly exactly as it's configured in SOLIDWORKS. So let's save this with a new name so as not to overwrite our cleaning version. I'll create a couple of views so we can see the changes propagate. The option is always available to hide your bomb from one view to another. We'll also space a few components out. Finally, we'll rename our views. You may decide to name your views based on where they'll appear in your documentation or the viewpoint of the geometry. Back in SOLIDWORKS, let's do a design change. I have a new subassembly that changes the design and location of the switch. We'll replace the current subassembly with the revised one. I'll use one of my favorite commands in SOLIDWORKS for this, replace components. This is a big time saver if you have a lot of mates in your parts or assemblies that you're replacing. I'll save this assembly change. Now we want to update our composer documentation with this change. I'll save over the master SMG file with this version. Going back to Composer, I'll click File, Update SOLIDWORKS Composer Document, and choose the updated master file. You can see that our views now include the updated geometry along with this new position. This has been Jared Trotter with Go Engineer. Make sure to check out the other videos on our channel for other Composer and CAD tips and tricks.